On Wednesday evening, Hudson County TV went to the bi-weekly North Bergen Commissioners meeting where a number of people from the trailer park at 4828 on Tonelli Avenue voiced a number of concerns about losing their homes in the immediate future. I'm a single mother. Long time, I give my vote for you, Sago. And you're never doing nothing for us. I went to apply for the um, housing. Anytime they say, no, I don't have no application, go. And they try somebody like uh, we nothing. You understand what I say? So you, I see you in the school. Any school you go, oh hi hi, and you only you 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 want to everybody see you, but you don't do nothing. I'm sorry, here, you here. don't do nothing. And I say one day, I hope so God let me, let me talk to him face to face. And it's that time. It's that time. My English not good, but I try to explain to you. Because I, I pray to God. I say, one day I want to see Psycho face to face. And I want to say what I want, what, what I feel in my heart. I, I call the Canal 41 for go to the trailer park for see the people because in the trailer park too many people, old people, veteranos, eh, incapacitados, enfermos, que viven ahí por long, long time. El abogado que teníamos, Baire, quisiera que estuviera aquí para decirle que se vendió. Estoy aquí porque me parece muy injusto. I am here because I feel it is very unjust. Que somos un grupo de personas, no animales, los que estamos viviendo en Manhattan Trailer Court. That, that we are a group of people, not a bunch of animals that we live in, in the trailer. No nos han ayudado. ¿Cuándo, cómo y dónde nos han ayudado ustedes? Uh, I also want to know when, when and how you said that they, they've been helping, you've been helping them. But he uh, uh, just want to know I'm sorry. when should they receive any help. Uh, security. If not, the township will security. If someone breaks in, you know, the night time, will security. Listen to me, you're the morning. Wait. Before you're morning. They're going to call you in the morning. Okay. Township attorney Herb Klitzner and Mayor Nick Sacco did their best to address the issue, but North Bergen Concerned Citizens Group members Larry Weinstein and Mario Blanche seem to have a completely different point of view. But a democracy requires dialogue. It requires public participation. It requires nighttime meetings. In the year 2013, this year, this is the only meeting that's been held at 5 o'clock. Every other nighttime meeting has been canceled. At 5 o'clock, people are getting back from work. Some of these people had to miss hours of their work day so they can get here at 5 o'clock. People can't come at 11 in the morning. No. No other town in Hudson County has 11 a.m. meetings as much as North Bergen. I'm not going to say other towns don't have the 11 a.m. meetings, but not every town is exclusive to 11 a.m., except North Bergen. People have, people have to work. Are you going to ever have the nighttime meetings to, to allow the people to have public participation again? When you ran for mayor, when you ran for mayor approximately 25 years ago, approximately 25 years ago, you promised to have nighttime meetings. And I found a copy of that newspaper, and I showed it to you about a year ago, and nothing has changed in a year. You haven't had nighttime meetings, there's less public participation, because in fact, you've canceled the only nighttime meetings you had scheduled. I think you had two of them scheduled for 8 a.m., and you moved them to 11 a.m., and you did that to thwart the efforts of the public from speaking out against you. Thank you. The public wants to know how much you spent on public relations just to promote yourself. Can you give us an answer? No. You can't give us an answer? Well. That would not have to do with anything here. Yeah. You spent, in the last four years, you spent four million dollars in public relations. Can you verify that? Because I have 
It's, it's the a totals. ridiculous number. That's well, no we have people here actually, that live in the trailer park. Yeah, yeah. They have nowhere to go to live, and you're spending four million dollars. Mayor Sacco, you're the political boss. You're the political leader. You know what? The township of North Bergen. For your election year, you know what? You can make a request just like I have to make a request from your office. All right? $319,000. $319,000 for this man right here. The one that's yeah. laughing, because he made, él ganó cuatro, cuatro millones de dólares en los últimos cuatro años. Él y su hijo. Cuatro millones de dólares. Ese señor. Oh. Township of North Bergen, $319,000. Hudson County Improvement Authority, $317,000. The North Bergen Board of Education, $36,000. North Bergen MUA, $17,000. Hudson, Hudson County, Hudson County, County Freedom. You know what? He's the Hudson political County boss, and this is all under his Hudson, political arm. Hudson, Hudson thirty-six thousand dollars. North Bergen Housing Authority. You have people that live in the trail park that have nowhere to go, and they're not even being offered housing. North Bergen Housing is eight thousand. what your calculations are. Oh, 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 oh. North Hudson oh, Regional Fire Department is $39,000. $39,000. He earns, he takes from the people of North Bergen over a million dollars a year. And you allow that, Mayor Sacco. And why do we need a public relations firm, all right, to speak on your behalf? You're the chairman, you're the mayor, and that's your responsibility. You take over $400,000 a year. Cuatro ciento mil dólares por año. Cuatro ciento. Four hundred thousand dollars. And you can't make your own statement? You need to pay Paul Sabinsky millions of dollars a year of taxpayer money? When you take money from the poor, because they can't afford a bank. Those are baseless claims. And let's talk about the issue. You tell us how you're going to help these people. Mayor Sacco, you tell us what you could do for the people that live in the trail park. They're going to lose their home. And Paul Sabinsky and his son is taking four million dollars in the last four years. We've been three helping them for three years. How? Well, you know what? When was the last time you went down to the trail park? How? When was the last time you went down to the trail park? Offer them social services. Offer them assistance. Offer them relocation.